We had the LF3 240 Max, we had the 280 Max, and we had the 360 and Max. And yes, of course, this video is going to be up about the 420 Max. What else should it be about? But was it worth it? How much more performance can we squeeze out of the biggest and best liquid freezer 3 that is going around? But more importantly, with me living in the small country of Luxembourg, Will the Germans hear it? This little sucker here is an Arctic P14 Max, 2800 RPM, 95 CFM, up to 4.18 mm of H2O. And this is three of them strapped to a 420mm edition of this cooler. And to test if any of this is making any sense, we used our regular old Intel test bench with a 3900K and three presets, 120, 250 and 320 watts. From there we are going to start off at full speed and then slowly lower the fan speed whilst noting down the noise to create a noise to performance graph. Exactly as we did with all the other ones. And the pump of course always at 100%. At 120 watts running through the socket, the LF3 for 20 max didn't have much to do. At 27.4 degrees C above ambient, the chip was barely noticing that something was happening at all. However, I am very happy to see that we did in fact squeeze out a bit more performance than we did out of all the other max upgraded AIOs. On the flip side, all that we did squeeze out of the original model is now boiled down to a mere 1.2 degrees C difference. A small difference, yet a loud one. But to be honest, less brutal than I thought, at the very top, at the loudest and the coldest corner of the graph, we got this blob of max liquid freezer AIOs, which or doing all sorts of stuff, you, you, you know, making the fans of one of them spin a tiny bit slower doesn't really do a whole much at this point. And once we go down with the speed, the noise to performance ratio of the 420 and 360 are switching places a few times. An interesting side info here though, the 420 was the only Liquid Freezer 3 which was tested using the original, uh, originally the P14 fans instead of P14 ARGBs. And P14 ARGBs are much more like slow spinning maxes than like for example the original P14s. They design wise they, they differ. So that's just something to keep in mind here. That said, this is 120 watts and nobody cares about 120 watts on cooling machines of this proportion. At 250 watts, more differences started to show. At 51.4 degrees C above ambient, the distance to the other max AIOs has indeed become better. And the distance to the original LF3 has grown to 1.9 degrees C. And overall, the LF3 420 max now has become the second best AIO to be tested on this setup. Quite the achievement if you ask me. But it's so damn noisy. The noise to performance graph looks nothing like the one on the 120 watts workload. Now the 420 starts off significantly colder than the 360, if both are equally loud, just for the 420 max to fall down like a rock battling against the 360 again. But once we go into the really low fan speed settings, this monster isn't actually that bad. It is in fact just slightly worse than the regular 420 and better than the 360 regular. So yay, not everything has a bad ratio today. At 320 watts, the max level 420 kept the chip at 70.1 degrees C above ambient, which is kind of awful. It now lost against the Iceberg Thermal Islo Oasis 360, an AIO which wasn't really that loud to begin with, or at least not as loud as this monstrosity. But this does bring me back to the thing I kept saying on every Max video. I think we ran into a brick wall when it comes to the cold plate. Between all liquid freezer Maxes, the difference between the best and the worst at this load was 1.7 degrees C. That's it, 1.7 to go from a dual fan to a triple fan with like 30% more radiator. That's not a lot. And for me, all fingers point to the cold plate. We are just done. There is not much more to squeeze out of this thing, or, or for any of them for that matter. Or at least not at a huge cost. I mean, the noise to performance ratio for 320 watts looks still very, very good up until you gain very, very little at a very, very huge cost. But before we end this video, I want to circle back to a video I did like half a year ago, where I benchmarked the LF3 420 using a push-pull P14 setup. The result was 71 degrees C above ambient on the 320 watts workload, which means that indeed it's a bit less than P14 maxes. I mean, <laughs> there you go, this was worth it. But that's not the point. First off, take these results with a grain of salt because it was done on the original LF3 video where I had another unit than, than this one, so the results differ and I, I found out later that the 
my was kind of broken and it became more broken over time, but that, that's another story. You know, the point is that the resulting noise to performance ratio of six P14 fans was so efficient, even on my broken unit. The noise, the noise level rose just a tiny bit. Six P14s aren't that much louder than three, but the performance shifted towards the colder side of the graph by such a huge amount, something which is absolutely not the case for three P14 Maxes. So was this worth it? Absolutely freaking not. I did squeeze out some performance, yes, but we found the maximum that the cold plate can handle and it was just not worth it. In its original state, the LF3420 or every liquid freezer for that matter is fantastic. And if you tune it with maxes, sure, it will get a degree or maybe even two colder, but it, that's just a bit where it's collecting dBs on my dB meter as if they were a good thing. Push-pulling the LF3, much, much better idea. So if I would do anything to a liquid freezer, push-pulling. I mean, you could also push-pull it with maxes, but at this point, why the hell would you do that? Just take normal P14s because there is not so much more performance you can squeeze out of if you don't want to get like a whole lot louder. So would I do this? Absolutely not. I would push-pull it, period. But okay, this was finally it for all my Liquid Freezer 3 videos. Oh, I had so many of them lined up. I, today is the day that I bench record all of them and I've been doing this for hours now, so I, I just can't hear me saying Liquid Freezer 3 again. I said it so many times today, I'm, I'm, I'm physically exhausted. Please Arctic, if you release a new line, like give me a year or two before you release the Liquid Freezer 4. Thank you. Oh, on a side note, we have a Discord server, so if you want to join, the link is down below. And we got channel membership, so if you are planning to sell your soul for an RG poop emoji, that's one way to go. But if not, I'm also releasing the content to all members two or three weeks in advance. Except for the NDA stuff, because, you know, I, I don't want to get sued. Additionally, you can rest assured that the income will not only keep the channel afloat, but it will also serve to petition Arctic to rename their screwdriver set to Ratchet Freezer Driver and Precision Freezer Driver, because that just makes so much more sense. Anyway, thank you for watching, and if you want to continue, have a look at our take on the Be Quiet Silent Loop 3 and 420, also an interesting AIO, without being too loud. Hope to see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Ah. <sighs>